Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Great Britain episode number 40, I think. I'm trying to do a little bit of a batch recording cycle because I'm leaving for a trip, so hopefully this is the right episode. I'm just right on the tail ends of the last episode, so the numbers are starting to... I'm not pausing to, you know, comment on the... Res the or reply to the comments on the video or anything, but anyway, off camera, I've done the renaming and I've added some more light cruisers just because I tried to get through... Um, Basically, I tried to just build as many of these light cruisers as I could. And we certainly will decommission the Comas class after this. Um, expected maintenance for these ships is 140,000. So it is a significant increase over our current Comas class, which is typically 110. But, you know, at war, I guess everything costs a little bit more. And I'm not going to question that. We get more of a budget anyway, so it doesn't usually really matter. Um, and that means that just because of the timeline of the game, I don't think we have time to fit in another big ship before the, the completion. This might be the last war. I, I suspect it will be. And it'll be nice to end on a positive note at least. So let me, excuse me, get this into the right position. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully we get a chance to test out our Victoria class. I'd be very, very disappointed if we didn't do that. But the good news is, we're in the same sea zone as the French main fleet. They're blockading us, so that should force an action. Um, it's one of those situations where I still feel like we would get away for once with... I'm going to put the Northumbria. She's going to go to Raider. I'm just going to chance it. In home waters, I don't. I just can't foresee a problem with uh, it being scuttled. Maybe it'll be interned in a neutral port. I doubt even that. I just have a bad... I have a feeling that it's just impossible. I've never... Okay. We had all those ships in Northern Europe. Maybe it was the fact that I was in the East Coast rating that, that caused a problem. We'll see. Okay, a fortune class, thank goodness. Okay, we sunk a <laughs> large liner. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody who matters cares. 23 to 5, that's good. Oh, they sunk a minesweeper. And another minesweeper. And another... By 8 to 7, this is the anti-submarine warfare kicking in. And our minesweeper has been sunk by a mine. That's always amusing to me. They don't have any forces, so we'll course... What? We have four dreadnoughts and they have zero, but... It just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, and I think I put everyone on accelerated build who I want to put on an accelerated build. That looks like the case, yes. I'm going to do the acceleration just so this fire flash comes out that one month faster. Seems fine to me. Uh, and very soon we will have our one of our Ajax class out, so we'll rotate a new one in. Wow. We lost so many minesweepers that we're actually down to not enough. Okay, well, this is a very clear... Very clearly stating to me that we need another 12. But until they are out... We're going to have to rely on some of our kingfishers, I guess. And you know what? Why not all of them? Okay. Continue putting the pressure on. We're deprived rules. I, I want to go to unrestricted every turn. I don't know why that keeps resetting. Wow. Very interesting. I didn't know that this was even remaining. <laughs> okay. We sunk a ship. This is good. Chateau Renault. 13 to 2 is a good ratio. They are continuing to sink our darn minesweepers. I guess we're going to have to go and... Uh, so our force is 6. Their force is very small, except... Okay, they've declined this time. This makes more sense. The Dian... Well, we'll definitely fight this. What are you? You look like a Achilles class, which is probably I would have known that without looking, just because ah, we only have the Achilles class rating. So squad max, and just pursue this angle. I think this is actually a light cruiser. I doubt it's actually a destroyer. The Isley class. What do you? What do you look like? So six six, six, six inch guns. He's a knot faster than us, or is that two knots faster? Wait, no, no, no. This is the Achilles. What am I thinking? 
sort of wrong ship. I was thinking of our new one, the Canada, but no, this is not a Canada class. Okay, they've scored the first hit, but I'm confident in our ability. We have as many side um, broadside guns, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. We have, we have as many broadside guns as they do. I don't know why we're only firing three. Okay, another turret disabled. This is not going particularly well for us so far. Oh boy. Oh, she didn't move. That's the first time I've ever seen the AI. I'm not joking. This is not hyperbole. That is the first time I've ever seen the AI in like one of these one-on-one -on -one engagements just not react and take a torpedo. I've never seen that before. Well, what we want to do right now is pull away, basically let her suffer for a little bit, continue her flooding. Okay, good, good. she sunk on her own. Perfect. I was just gonna let that damage kind of build up for a bit before returning, but we didn't even have to wait. The end of, uh, I guess it's not pronounced that way, the end of, uh, indefatigable. <laughs> I don't know how to say it in British, but it's indefatigable for me. Considering the dire war situation, what, oh, the sick piece, what the heck are you, what, what are you guys going on about? <gasps> Quality one, six inching, oh, this is amazing. Just, okay, of course. The funny thing is, the Ajax, this is the end of the game. We have one Ajax class that just got refit. We're gonna refit them all again, because now they're gonna get advanced director and the improved guns. So I'll, get you, I'll still accept. Yeah, that's right. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to do two uh, different designs. This one is gonna have a separate redesign. It's worth it to me, five million, I mean, it's really expensive. The other ones will be getting advanced director at the same time that they do this, so it'll be a, an entirely different ship class. But we'll save. Huh, okay, 19.9, good. So she'll be out and costing us a whole bunch of money, but that's fine. And I just don't wanna do more than one of those at a time. Okay, we're now proficient, good, only Navy can win this war. We've seen, okay, finally, this is Fleet Tactics. Ah, Fleet Tactics, I'm gonna remember this one. Okay, 13.8, not the best. Ah, oh, we gotta go to Unrestricted. 12.6, that's better, that's pretty good for them. I'm going to decline. I don't think our seven are even actually good enough for theirs. Um, we're not being blockaded anymore, which is good. Cleopatra, another Achilles class. Let's see if we have the same fortune. Okay, well, squad max. They're always starting at the wind advantage. Oh, God. Run. Run. Oh, de deploy, deploy smoke. That's one thing we didn't do last time. Yeah, there's no way we can even get back to favorite. So it's just it's just useless. We might as well just engage. Yeah, she can run us down. Our only hope is that this pursuit lasts for like five hours and she doesn't sink us. Okay, what's our final speed right now? 22. It's not, you know, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, let's make the turn down and just fire our torpedoes. Fire those torpedoes. Well, you had an opportunity, but you just weren't able to do it. I'm not gonna complain. I mean, it's just a, it's a tough, really tough. That I wonder why our, uh, I mean, why are our battle cruisers not getting called into those fights? <laughs> that's what I would prefer. Four. That's much better. I keep forgetting. Sunk. The Deanna sunk all by mine. Except again, unrestricted before I forget. No, what? What are you guys talking about? This is so close in terms of victory points. We keep damaging. There we go, 33 to 4. That's what I'm talking about. There we go, a small response from the enemy. 
Nine to eight is good. Their raiders are still doing more damage though. Um, decline. Damn it. I want my battle cruiser to get. Maybe I should put both my fortune class battle cruisers, which if those get scuttled, it's not like the biggest deal. I should probably put the, both of those on raiding as well. Maybe we can get intercepted while one while in one of those. So I think it's good news for our best strategy for us right now is not to yeah basically even engage with these ships. Just run away. <sighs> Which is unfortunate. At the very beginning of this game, we did Nolum Retorsum Est, or so I forget the phrase now. It's been too long. Uh, anyway, it was supposed to be Don't Run Away. We can see that we just haven't been following that whatsoever. I could probably do something more like that as the Americans than I can as the British. Okay, we did Unrestricted. That was working out well. Our funds are just going up by a large amount. So I guess, well, what the heck? The Invincible Class Battle Cruiser. I like it. 16 inch, caliber 16. I mean, this is good. I think that we need less secondary guns. We don't want this midship. We don't want this half superimposed. We want half centerline superimposed. And I think we go with triple, triple, triple. We do our triple, 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 triple configuration. Speed of 28, how are we doing? We still have a thousand left over. Advanced director, let's get 110 rounds per gun. Let's clear. We do not want torpedo mounts on this thing, which is, in my opinion, lately has just seen been seen more as a vulnerability than anything else. I actually like the armor, except for turret is gonna be up to 14. Belt will take down to 11. Uh, turret top at four and a half. Secondary is down to two. Torpedo defense of four. Yeah, this is just such a great ship. I like everything about it. <laughs> Gonna be very expensive, I'm assuming. Woo, 173 million pounds. For reference, our Ajax class was 150 million. But this does have two extra guns. Uh, really, it's not much different. It's the same speed. Probably doesn't need this much tonnage. 45.5. Much better defended. Turrets of 14 instead of 13, I think, were on the Ajax. Can I see? I think so. Yeah, these were 13. It was 10, 3.5, 13, 13. And this is basically just in every way more heavily armored. But that's kind of a deceptive thing since armor penetration is going to take care of a lot of this anyway. I think that having the deck this high is pretty good. But maybe if we go up to 46, we can just throw on an extra two. Good. So now we're looking like that. You, I like this configuration slightly better. This is basically take our Victoria class and smash it into um, a battle cruiser. Reduce some of its armor. Not even much. How much? 11, 4, 15, 2, 4. Oh my gosh, it's the same. We bas basically are taking a Victoria and putting a massive engine in Yeah, I mean, I, it's pretty good. I would almost, it's weird, but I'd almost prefer 15 inch quality one guns. Okay, let's get that up. Well, hopefully flash fires are just a thing of the past. <laughs> so we'll save this and you know, maybe we'll build one of them. I don't know if it'll ever get into the game. Uh, but we had enough money to do so. So if we accelerate through, we'd get three months. No, only two months. So go on a normal p pace for now. Let's accelerate that. Accelerate all the things. We have enough money right now that it's not a problem. So if they get down to the point of like eight, I think seven, eight is a good place to accelerate. All right, and we'll just hope that everything else... You know what I actually want to do as well? I want to... Wait, did I open this design for rebuild? 
That's weird. They actually do have enough room for advanced director. How is this possible? We might as well get one. Um, let's just get... Not from Southeast Europe. West Coast is fine. Yeah. Are there any in Northern Europe? No. Good. That's fine. So let's get the one in the West Coast to come in for a refit, just so I can build some more. So just go to Advanced Director. Everything else is pretty good about this ship. Oh, I probably want to clear the submerged mounts. Actually, heh. doesn't really matter. I'll just leave it. I wouldn't put them on in the future, but... Uh, and then let's build a few more of those Glindur classes as well. Just so we can really ravage the seas. Yeah, well, that offensive was probably just going to cost me a thousand victory points anyway, right? 19 to 2, this is good. Hmm. So this is damaging. It doesn't affect victory points. It just doesn't matter. Ha, 12 12, that's bad for them. Alright, this is the one that matters. We keep getting these British Raiders being intercepted. What I would rather have is. You know what? I probably should just try to stop the blockade. That's what I should do. So squad max and move away from this ship. Just in case it's a battle cruiser. We need to move that way so we're moving towards islands. Okay, it's almost the end of the day. Yeah, this is a battle cruiser, so get the hell out of there. Deploy smoke. Flotilla assault as well. Up, oh, submerged torpedo. What? Oh, ah! oh, flash fire. What do you know? One of these days. I guess I'm going to take my guys off raiding. They're not doing anything anyway, so forget it. <laughs> How many have we lost so far? Uh. Yeah, a lot of them. Too many. So we'll take everybody off rating except for now if they want to intercept it. Well, good luck. You can intercept... You know what? You can intercept the Thunderchild too. That's what I'll give you. If you want to intercept something, go ahead. 27 to 2, that's really good. 2 to 8, that's really good again. Aha! Aha! Ha 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 ha. Let's see. Now, if they give me a light cruiser, I swear, I'm just going to be very upset. <laughs> Don't give me a light cruiser. That would be unfair, game. Don't play me like that. Squad max. We need to push them one way or another. Okay, let's push them north then. Don't give me a light cruiser. Come on. No, are you kidding me? Oh man, I'm waiting for their. Uh, oh, oh. Two light cruisers? That's a destroyer. Bollocks. Oh, wait, maybe it's not. Oh, it's another light cruiser. Okay, well, you know, that's a little bit better. They're kind of throwing me a bone. Okay, forget the Galilee. Chase the Bougeau. Chase, 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 chase. Go, go, go. Oh, God. Watch out for torpedoes. Looks like she's moving in a circle. There it is. Okay, fantastic. That's better. That'll teach them from trying to hunt down raiders. Take that. Again, I kind of want to get my fortune class involved, but they probably can't go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I mean, they can't comfortably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the French battle cruisers. So we'll leave them out for now. Okay. 244, very good. Scarce. 3 to 5, very good. Small engagement, which we cannot decline. And they can't muster enough forces. Okay. Strange circumstances there. 
Uh, let's see how we're doing under construction. We have a few ships oh, going to eight. When I see it at eight and not accelerated, I need to accelerate it. Um, a few more months before we can start accelerating the Glinder classes and the... Well, the Invincible, I kind of just want to rush her out no matter what. No, I can't do that because she's also extremely expensive. Okay, so let's actually get the next one. Don't we have, uh, wait, no, that's actually the Ajax we have that's under construction. She is going to take another six months. Okay, well, we have to wait for her to come out. I mean, we should wait for her to come out before we engage the... We're still being blockaded. That's the funny thing. I guess that's where they're getting all their victory points from. Right there. 250 victory points for blockading us. Our unrest level is staying really low because, one, we're winning uh, fights, which usually helps a lot. And I guess that Great Britain is pretty... Well, we shouldn't be resilient to blockade. We should be the most susceptible to it. So I'm not really... I also don't understand what's going on with the monthly balance and the funds. Doesn't really make sense. Yeah, I definitely need some more Glinder classes, though. I'm glad I bought them. Like, I don't understand if this is not relevant. If this is not accurate, then I'm just going to take advantage of the silliness of it. And just buy more Glinder classes, and you know what, hell, let's just get another Invincible class too. Why not? The Indomitable. I like both those names for this really endgame ship. There it is! Finally I can build quadruple turrets, better torpedoes. Well, that's good news. Okay, 35 great ratios we're getting. 3 to 7 terrible ratios for them. Ah, the Thunderchild is active. Coastal Bombardment. Well, this could be a fleet battle. It's the first battle I've gotten, like first real battle. Medium size means that it probably is not. I don't like Coastal Bombardments if it's going to be small. 65 victory points and medium size means that it probably isn't that big. But let's accept and then just if it's not with battle cruisers or larger. Oh, why hello. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. Yeah, we have two Ajax class ships. This is okay. I'm 100% happy with this. Where's our target? Okay, well, good. This is actually reminiscent of the previous engagement we had against the French. The great success, if you remember, and I hope you do, of the Kingfisher class. So let's get all these things up and the screen centered. And let's go for it. Let's see what we have here. A coastal bombardment means with the Ajax class. Let's move up to this. We have the scouting glowworm. Oh, that's oh, I love that name. She's a Comus class, but I'd be hate to. Well, let's leave her in the front. We're actually going faster than she can go. <laughs> She's already over squad max, so let's take her off AI control because she won't do well under AI control. Anyways, we need her to go squad max and just head dead towards that. Uh, thing. Also going to get my escorts just to go to support mode. I assume they'll take themselves off screen mode. It looks like they have. Good. Almost there. I expected, well, there it is. I expected to run into the enemy fleet, and there they are. So, squad max, Comus class is just going to do a bit of a dance with them, just to you know, spare some time so that my Ajax classes can close in. Well, that's not much of a f defense fleet at all. In fact, what we're going to do is have my main fleet hold fire for the time being. And let the Glowworm take this one, which she is more than capable of doing. Aha, this unknown ship probably less. <laughs> Wait, it's also moving pretty slow. Let's move to... React? Nope. Looks small. Or is it? It's not moving quickly, whatever it is up there. Okay, that's probably sunk. Let's get my battle cruisers to train their guns. Wait. This might be their fleet. Let's go after that first. We're actually hitting the the um, land targets. Actually, hold fire for a little bit longer. Let the Comus class go after the land target. It's perfect. Good job, Glowworm. My goodness. 
I'm so glad I brought you along. If you can destroy that target for us, I mean, that's really all. I, I don't want to waste the ammunition for my Ajax class. Although the Ajax class has like a, a pretty large amount of shells per gun, doesn't it? That only looks like, okay, so 90, what is this? Somebody do the math for me. 230, so 115. I guess we have 115 rounds per gun. Should have just put them all into AP. I don't know why. HE is just insignificant. We don't need those. Gonna remove my hold fire because we're gonna fire at these six inch coastal batteries, I guess. Yeah, go ahead and pick up survivors, destroyers. That's a good thing for you guys to do. Just give our guns a little bit of, uh... oh, good, that one's destroyed. Move back up north. I really wish we knew where the French fleet was, though. Oh, it's an 8-inch coastal battery. Well, what? Like, I'm not too worried about the Australia getting hit by a torpedo. I just don't understand. I have <laughs> no idea how. Unless this 8-inch coastal battery <laughs> launched a torpedo at us. <laughs> and even that is... The range is questionable. They would have had to launch it, and we would have had to, you know, at their max range for where we would be. How the hell did we get hit by a torpedo? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> really does not make sense. That is so strange to me. How the hell did that happen? All right, let's get the glowworm in nice and tight and close. Maybe there's uh, any... Uh, does this 8-inch battery already get destroyed? How do we get hit by a torpedo? We're right next to port, so it won't matter too much. But it's very confusing. Now, I just wish... Unknown ship, unknown ship. Yeah, I think these guys aren't going to come out and play. Wish I knew where they were. I'm gonna put the glowworm intentionally the wrong way. Just hopefully act as like a rear guard. Oh, good, there they are. Perhaps. That's a light cruiser. That's something for sure. Uh, you guys turn around. Come back. There's something this way for sure. So let's get our battle cruisers to go investigate. What was your role? Just take you off AI control and move you manually back this way. Yeah, we're citing these like destroyers or minesweepers or something. I don't care about those. Yeah, I don't care about those. This is what I care about. And that is a line that is likely my target. There it is. Glowworm, get the heck out of the way. And we like to go squad max here. Why is it that the sandwich is lagging behind so much? I don't know. Australia was not doing her max speed even for a while. Glowworm strikes a mine and is sinking. Wow, Glowworm. Less than, uh, you're certainly less than your glory, the historical namesake. <laughs> and we have a destroyer going through the minefield as well. It doesn't seem like a good idea. Well, anyways, let's just pursue our target, which is these group of battleships. We took a hit, but I'm going to just go nose on with them because we bring five of our guns to bear and we narrow our profile as well, which the developer has said does help with not getting hit, but it isn't, huh? Huh. Kidon is really ooh, powerful, but l such weak armor. All right, let's go just let's just go toe to toe with them. I'm only seeing us getting hit. Why is this happening? Come on, Ajax class. You guys are better than this. My god. Alright, we'll change the game up a little bit. We need to do a fleet 
engagement or whatever, get the destroyers in there. Like, what the hell is happening? How is this possible? Okay, Nancy class, what are you? Are you like God class or something? No. How are we getting just so wrecked? All right, well, we'll use the age-old trick of just running away. Our destroyers did not launch torpedoes. We're landing a few hits. There's some torpedoes going out. Uh, oh, that one went right through. I saw one go right through. Okay, we're finding all their mines. That's interesting. They're not finding any of ours despite going through the... This game is so unbalanced sometimes. I'm just going to head right to port. I mean... Yeah, we got whipped. And I'm just not going to chance something worse happening. You know, just... We'll take this one on the noggin. And we'll go back to port. Wow, what a terrible engagement. My HS class was just... just Pure garbage today. Pure garbage. But we didn't get sunk. <laughs> like, what the heck? These are e really evenly balanced ships. I would, I would uh, pause it. I would say that this is an evenly classed 10 16 inch guns. What, is it because of the improved director versus the Advanced director? I don't know. I mean, technically, we are bigger than them by like, well, it's like almost exactly the same. I would love to fight them again when I get advanced director, because that's the only thing I can chalk this loss up to. We didn't lose any of our ships, that's the good news. But that was just, just a terrible, 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 terrible engagement. Gosh. Accelerate. And you know what? I think I'm going to build more minesweepers too. Oops. Um, sinking some more minesweepers. 22 to 1. Wow, it's quite good. 2 to 1. Okay. Second verse, hopefully not the same as the first. All right, Thunderchild, live up to your fame, uh, world, world's fame, please. Well, don't get sunk though, because you know in the book you were <laughs> you were destroyed <laughs> by the aliens. These are not aliens; they are French. Well, close enough, maybe, but. We have the wind advantage. One on one. Let's go. Fight. Win. What the? <sighs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, uh, just I want to explain how maddening this is for people who don't understand. The very first hit that they got before I even understood what was going on, they destroyed my elect they disabled my electric power. This, in case you aren't aware, makes your ship totally totally useless. You have zero speed, you have zero ability to fire your guns, you have zero ability to launch torpedoes, you can't do anything. You do nothing until electrical power is restored. It is the the worst event that can happen. And it happened to us on the very first hit. I'm starting to suspect that Britain has like some hidden event file. Maybe only for humans, but at least for humans, that everything bad that can go wrong should. And that doesn't seem historically accurate if it's in there, so I must protest. We're, I mean, we're just going to lose. We're, there's no way we can win. They can do whatever they want. And we can't... We're not even returning fire right now. Oh my god. It'll be so lucky if we can even get away. Oh my heavens. Okay, uh, oh, we're firing our secondary guns. Wait, does that mean secondary guns can fire, but only primary guns cannot? Oh 
I mean, if we can get out of here at all, it's a miracle. But this is just, like, absurd. Like, my anger at this game is growing because the RNG in these games is just reminding me of my XCOM The Longest War campaign. Uh, I don't understand. It tur turret was destroyed. It says 20%, 50%. We obviously just... Oh, we don't have any guns left. Okay. Yeah, I think this is it for us. hate this game i really hate this game that's just I, like if there was a save scum i would literally save scum right now that's so unbelievable the the look at i'll t i didn't complain too much when our glinder class was sunk at the start of this war just to get us into the war i was pretty annoyed i i think rightfully so i was pretty annoyed that one of our ajax class was scuttled but at least you can kind of justify it that I was raiding, whatever. Okay, but this is just... That's offensive to me. <laughs> I just can't believe that that happened. I cannot believe that that happened. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Ah! Well, neutral port. Okay, so the Northumbria is now out of the fight, now two. They have one destroyer, and we're actually... Okay, whatever. This is the last thing I'm going to play in this. I'm so pissed. I cannot believe that happened. I cannot believe that. Uh, all right, all right. Let's, let's calm down. If that had happened to me, would I have been... Like, if that happened the other way around, would I be complaining so much? Maybe not. I, or, I mean, I wouldn't be, like, making a big deal out of it. It's just... That's just... God, I mean, the Ajax is probably... I still think it's a better ship... Battlecruiser, first battlecruiser compared to any ship in the world. Right now, at least. Especially with the improvements, the 16 uh, quality 1 inch guns. Like, what? That's just so good. And we just, they just, they make it so terrible by just always getting these stupid random events. Get back here. Don't you... Ugh, get back here, stupid ship. <sighs> so frustrating. Well, it's nice to know that we're still ruling the Mediterranean. I probably should put more ships in here, we might be able to force an invasion of uh, France somewhere over here. I mean, French territory over here. I didn't think about that. I mean, nothing has happened. Let's take a look at the map before I call this video to a close. We're being blockaded, but over here it's 24 to 0, so we should be able to invade very easily in Southeast Asia. Here it's 12 to 6. No, not there. Here it's 1 to 0, but they don't have enough points, so I don't suspect... yet. Yeah, let's actually just move more people into Southeast Asia and hopefully get invasions going on there <sighs> so sad though I can't uh, just okay well I'm gonna save and quit here for the day uh, I can't I wanted to record more but that's just such a frustrating loss so we'll be back in the next ev episode to continue this war with France um, hopefully we get some kind of big fleet engagement the closest we've gotten are just the a lot of really poor showings by the Ajax, despite pretty strong starts against the Americans. And I'm just really surprised because they're, they're, they are a better ship. Okay, uh, let's do it this way. We know that they're having a little bit of problems, a few problems. So let's just refit everyone to the, the better mod. Wait, no, 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 no. I have to redo it again. Okay. How did this happen? Why did we suddenly get more? I didn't do anything. Don't question it, just go with it. Whatever. Alright, so the Ajax are now going to be built like this. 
rebuild this. Same thing with the fortunes, technically. These should also be rebuilt with uh, advanced director. But that would remove all our battle cruisers from the area. I think I kind of like having a few just in the area. I mean, I'd really like to get the Victoria into combat. I'm not that we're at the, the game's whim for that, unfortunately. Maybe I'll send the Renown off to try to engage stuff in the Caribbean? They have some holdings there, right? They can stop me from leaving if they want. Wait, wait we have two battle... Oh, wait. Oh, these guys are... Huh. I did not know that. I mean, there's no point in keeping our ships here if we're still being blockaded. We might as well go to raiding or, you know, do something, because... Oh my god, I can't believe that's such a brutal... That's such a brutal hit, losing that battle cruiser. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, we're just. I'll try to manipulate these things off camera. I don't know, but ah, that's such a. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for putting up with my complaining. I shouldn't complain so much. This is just RNG, and I've never had a good time with it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and until the next episode, take care.